In Audion CB204, there are a total of 16 Pro Tools inputs and outputs. Inputs and outputs 1 to 8 are on the top 192 unit, with inputs and outputs 9 to 16 on the bottom unit. Eight outputs from the first 192 unit are hardwired into the tape return path for channels 25 to 32 on the right hand side of the audience desk. For example, when you play something in iTunes, the left and right output appears on the tape return path for channels 25 and 26. This is because we are using channels 1 and 2 on the top 192 unit. However, the eight outputs from the second 192 unit appear on the patch bay. So if we are mixing in software using a stereo output, then no patching is required as your left and right output will appear on the tape return path for channels 25 and 26. If you wish to record using Pro Tools, or want to mix using 16 outputs from Pro Tools, then it is good practice to route these 16 channels of Pro Tools into the first 16 channels on the audience desk. To do this, you will need to patch the Play B outputs for channels 25 to 32 into the tape return inputs for channels 1 to 8 on the audience desk. Next, you will need to patch the outputs from the second 192 unit. These are patch bay tie lines 33 to 40 and should be routed into the tape return path for channels 9 to 16 on the audience desk. Your patch bay will look something like this. In Pro Tools, go to Setup and select I.O. Setup. You will see your two 192 units labelled as A for channels 1 to 8 and B for channels 9 to 16. Next, select New Path. Go to Pro Tools I.O. Settings and import the Multi-Track Output setting. Delete any existing paths. You will now see 16 outputs, A1 to 8 and B1 to 8. To configure inputs, simply select the corresponding input. For example, A1 input equals A1 output and so on. Now have 16 tracks of Pro Tools running into 16 channels of the audience desk. This will bypass the radar system. When recording, routing to Pro Tools is exactly the same as routing to Radar. For example, when you route a signal to Channel 1 on Radar, it is also sent to Channel 1 in Pro Tools. Remember, whereas Radar has 24 inputs, Pro Tools has 16. Headphone mixes would be set up using the desk. You will now be able to make full use of hardware and software in the Audience Studio.